Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 11 that is transition and blending effects in this particular course. In this particular lecture we will see how to add the transition effects between uh, clips and also add the blending effect for the specific clip. So over here we have already added one clip over here and let us say you want to add the transition for this particular clip then what you can do is you can select that clip and then uh, go to this particular button that is transition room and once you are there there are lots of effects that you can apply so here in the 2d we have got these many effects so to apply say this effect then what you have to do is you will have to drag it and then uh, drop it like this one And as you can see this uh, yellow border rectangle is being displayed then you, you have to release the mouse and then that effect will be applied to in the beginning of the slide like that and similarly if you want to apply the effect at the end of the slide then what we will have to do is let us see you want to apply this effect then drag it and drop it like that and effect will be applied at the end of the slide so let us play it once again and as you can see that effect was applied so that is how you can apply the effects as well and uh, let us say if you want to apply the effects between two slides like this is the first slide and this is the second slide so you want to apply the effect in the middle of that then what you can do is you can select the effect that you want to apply and then take your mouse on that particular uh, clips and as you can see this particular effect is being uh, displayed on the top of both the clips so what will happen is that this effect will be applied to both the slides uh, for the first slide it will be at the end of the slide and for the second slide that effect, effect will be applied at the beginning so if you release the mouse So like that, that effect will be applied. So in uh, Power Director, there are lots of effects like that you can try, like spin effect, geometric effect. So whichever suits your needs, you can take uh, take that effect and then apply to your slides. So this is about uh, adding the transition effects. Now let us move on. Let us uh, see, uh, now see how to. I'm just doing control Z to undo the effects now let us say uh, you want to add the blending effect so to add the blending effect you have to select the clip to which you want to add the blending effect and then what you have to do is click on tools and then click on blending effect then over there there are a lot of blending effects like this like if you want to add the analog film effect then you can click on that particular effect and then uh, lay preview that one so that is how it's looking like then if you want to add the lens flare effect then you can select that effect and then preview it like this So what happens is that uh, that effect is applied to the bending effect is applied to entire clip and then if you are happy you can click on ok or you can also change the opacity as well if you want like this and over there you can select the blending mode as normal dark and etc so various settings are available over there you can preview it as well and if you want to add more uh, templates, free templates, then you can click on this button and then it will be taken to the Cyberlink uh, Power Director website. Where, from where you can download the blending effect templates and then uh, you can have another, um, like more beautiful templates as well that you can apply. So that is how you can apply the blending effects uh, to the clip, which makes it look beautiful. So that ends our uh, lecture number. 11 that is transition and blending effects uh, in power director and 
in this particular lecture we have seen how to add the transition effects by going to this transition room and then how to add the blending effect as well by going to tools and then clicking on blending effect thanks for watching this video